fans of high quality entertainment. Uh, I received my uh, new CD DVD rack today and I'm going to be unboxing it and attempting to put it together. So this is my CD rack that my viewers have been seeing for I guess since actually I moved in this apartment building in or this apartment in 2012. I've been here nine years. So I've been doing videos in this apartment for nine years and you've always seen the CD rack. There's the famous Canadian stud muffin chair right there. <laughs> and uh, so I'm going to be taking this all down, taking all these CDs out. That's Midden's bed. Jake's never lays there, but Midden's does quite often. And then, of course, over here I have my other CD rack, DVD, Blu-ray rack. I uh, Just in the last month or so, I moved some of my CDs here because, as I've mentioned before, some of them don't fit into that rack, which is annoying. And I hope with this new CD rack, that everything fits just in one spot. And someone was asking me where I bought this rack. This one I bought at Best Buy back in 2012. And this rack here was handmade by a workmate of mine uh, in probably 2004. And like I said, it's excellent except some of the taller CDs won't fit in here. And uh, at the moment, I put all of my DVDs and Blu-rays into this tote. And actually, that night, just outside my bedroom door, Jinx and Biddens lay there at night, usually. But since I put this tote here, with a little blanket on top. <laughs> Jinx has been laying on it most nights. But yeah, there's where all of my Blu-rays and DVDs are at the moment. So I'm going to be taking these two CD racks down and uh, Molly said, don't sell them. So, no, they're not for sale. Here's my son. And his wife, Care. And there he is as a, a little boy, along with my son, Ryan. Those were taken at different times, uh, but they're about the same age there. So all, all of this is going to be <laughs> being taken down and as I, as I always say, I just threw this, I just tape it all up there and it's a mess. I'll always keep that. <laughs> so here we are. I'm going to unbox it. Tired already. Put the knife down. Oh. <laughs> it looks like it's complicated, and you're going to have to think. Oh. 
don't have to return this. Here. It's hard to... Another box here. This one is like, doesn't feel like there's anything in it. I'm starting to worry. Seriously. Nothing. I hope it's not fragile. So, those are the racks. I think this is going to be pretty easy for somebody else to put together, but not me. Caps flying everywhere. Easy, easy. I'm exhausted putting the CD rack together. Comes with instructions that no man ever reads. I'll look at them though. I'm going to put these here. a nice box until I ripped it all to shreds. Hi there. Anyway, <laughs> I'm seriously worried that there's nothing in, in this. Hello! Maybe they just accidentally put an extra, I'm hoping, because this one's heavy. <laughs> I'll return it. I'll tape, I'll tape that box all back up. This, this came from uh, the States, and there's no way I'm going to send it back. Like, if I'm missing a part, I'll just write to them. 
I'm not happy. I'm not happy opening a box and there's nothing in it. You saw me open the box and there was nothing in it. Holy crap. I'm getting a headache. Now it says here, it is there, that's the way it's going to look when uh, Molly comes down and puts it together for me. If, if uh, we didn't have right now the COVID-19 here in Ontario, it's a stay-at-home order. I'd be, I'd be asking one of my lo local viewers to come over and put this together for me, and I'd pay them $5. I should have thought this over before I bought it. I should have written to the company and said, excuse me, uh, does this require putting, putting the wrap together? And if they wrote back yes, I'll say, cancel the order, please. <sighs> Got a headache. Okay. I'm just hoping, because this doesn't say anything on the box, I'm just hoping that they, like I said, they threw, by accident, they threw an empty box in. That's what I'm hoping. This is going to be a series that's going <laughs> to go on for the rest of the year. <laughs> ah. <sighs> and some of you might think I'm ov overacting or something. I'm not. I'm not. I don't like... I'm not a, a handyman. Like, what's this? What do I do with that? Where do I start? Who am I? I need a drink, not just orange juice. Okay. Number one. Screw... It, you have to start by screwing. Screw in leveling feet one. Okay, one. Those are the leveling feet. Makes sense. are these big, big things here with the padding on. These, in case you're wondering, are called leveling feet. If you want to learn how to put a shelf together, come to my channel for tutorials on shelf assemblies. So there's four of those. 
Yep, four of those. Screw in leveling feet one to rod B, then attach B to A with two. <laughs> okay. It's really simple actually when you look at the diagrams, right? Rod B. Let's see what Rod B looks like. Okay, Rod B. There's four of them. Okay, and they're the same. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's eight of them. They're all the same. So it doesn't matter which of the four you take because there's eight of them. See, it says top rods, four, and base rods, <coughs> four. Well, they are different, though. They, they are different. Okay, so the, so I'm putting Screw and leveling feet to rod B. So I'm, I'm going for rod B that's got the. Uh, okay, I see. So this is rod B that has, has that at the end. Yeah, because some of these, see, some of these, see, that, that's A. Some of you guys were laughing at me. Okay. So there's one, two. This is going to be a 10 part series, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Remember to subscribe and like my channel and become a member, join my Patreon, and come over to my apartment and help me put this together. So here, here we, have, we have four. Four rods. Like, why didn't it just come in the box like that? That's what I want to know. Screw in leveling feet one to rod B. I take this off. You take this plastic bit off. Oh. Oh, it's a, on that end, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Base rod. So it goes in that end. I was thinking it would go in that end.
be easier to do it that way, I guess. <laughs> Look, I did it. I put it together. Hand tight, right? I think it's it's not going to go anywhere. I feel like I've accomplished something today. I should, I should start a channel where people send me in stuff and I have to try and put it together. But I get to keep it. There's two. And they're actually standing on their own accord. That's impressive. I can, I can look back on this CD shelf and say, I put that CD shelf together myself in 13 hours. Yeah, it just, after a while, it just spins and spins and spins. So, it's in there, okay? One more. That one won't, won't stand up. It's like it's drunk. I'd like to be drunk right now. One more to screw. That's what she said. I feel like I've accomplished something today. So there's four. Oh, I need a break. So this is what we have so far. Screw in leveling feet to rock, then attach B to A with two. So there it is. So Okay. Oh, I get it now. I got it. Now. So this, they're saying this is B, right? No, no, this is A. Yeah, this is A. And so you insert that. See this? It is tall. this. So it's you, tall. Screw that in there. There's a lot of screwing in this video. <laughs> there. Hand tight. I'll lay that down so it doesn't fall over and hit my television. I'm crying the rest of the day. Take that off. And tight, it's, yeah, that's, that's as tight as it goes. It's just going to be so frustrating that <laughs> I'm missing something because you 
you might remember there was a box with nothing in it. Maybe this isn't as complicated. You know, I think, first of all, I'm not stupid. I'm not. I'm not stupid. But I think people that have difficulty with uh, <laughs> instructions and putting things together is that they're so intelligent that they overthink. And it makes them look stupid. Which end does this go in? Here we go. So I've got four of those rods. They're done. Yeah, screw in leveling feet, two rod, then attach B to A with two. Yeah. Okay. So step two, attach plastic shelf stoppers, three. That goes there. And it says 48. So my little worry at the moment is, and I think I'm okay, but is there 48 in there? If there's 24, I've got a problem. Okay. I'm going to put these all together, like, seriously. is top. Attach plastic shelf stoppers, three, onto the rods until they snap into the groove lines on the rod. Okay. No, it says, got to read that, it says top, so that's top, and okay, I see, okay, so how many, like, uh, okay, uh, slide the shelf onto rods, over plastic stoppers. Repeat steps two, three to complete the unit. That's what you think. Oh my god. Timber. So there's one, two, hopefully I've got enough of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of these. What are these called? They are called... Yeah, just 12 of them. They're called dividers. Okay, so um, I should I should move this now, shouldn't I? Why didn't I think of that before? Um, I'm just trying to picture. See, I'm see that's the thing too. I'm a visual person. You know, like instead of like thinking with your brain, you're thinking with your eyes. <laughs> I see. So it would go, okay. It'd go like that. It'd go like that. go like that. Okay. Look, it's all it's it's looking like a CD rack already. Right? But that move no. Okay, that locks in there. No, it moves. How do I stop that from moving? I'm starting to worry. Got it. That's the other way, maybe too. That was one of my problems. Oh, and then okay, and then you, I see, and then it kind of locks it once I see. I had, I had a one-hour massage yesterday. I've got neck and shoulder problems. And after a massage, like it's a good workout here, but it's sore the next day. And so today isn't the greatest day to put together a CD shelf. I think this will be the end of. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. I think this will be the end of part one of me assembling a CD shelf. I just want to read this. Ah, this is going to help me. It's in a different language. Jantar el Dinidor de Estante de Plastico e las Veras hasta. Materlo a las líneas de ranura en la barra. It's so simple. Okay. I'm just, I just want to end this with attach plastic shelf stoppers onto the rods until they snap into the lines on the rod. Okay. I just haven't done that yet. And then slide the shelf onto rods over plastic stoppers. Repeat steps two and three to complete the unit. Place the unit at desired position against your wall. Mark the hole positions on the back with a pencil. Oh, now we gotta go out and buy a pencil. Do not hang off the floor. Right, okay. Like, make it sturdy. Don't just let it stand there loose. Drill a hole? Oh, I haven't used my drill in 10 years. I've got to recharge it. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed. 
Assembling a CD DVD rack part one. Stay tuned for part two where I'm hopefully not going to have a part three because it'll be easy easy to assemble the CD DVD rack and next up I'm going to remove this rack here, CD rack. And Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I know why I won't. Bye. Hi, fans of high quality entertainment. It's just not the same as it. <sighs> now for part two of putting the CD DVD shelf together. <sighs>